All right, everyone, we've got Steve Landin with Spaceport America joining us right now. Uh, tell me, first off, what is Spaceport America? Well, Spaceport America is the first purpose-built spaceport. Um, that means it's, I call it a greenfield out here in New Mexico. It's a blank piece of desert, a raw piece of canvas where customers can define their needs and we, we will build it. Okay. And so Spaceport America is positioned adjacent from White Sands Missile Range. So there's significant advantages. Cool. Such as the restricted airspace. Yep. Mm -hmm. um, so we have this black hole, I refer to it over New Mexico. If you map the air transport traffic, mm -hmm. uh, you'll see all of a sudden this, all these white airplanes all over the screen and this nice black hole over New Mexico. <laughs> so what that... It's like Area that, 52. Exactly. There you go. <laughs> so what that gives us is un unencumbered access. Mm -hmm. And White Sands is a great partner. They do our safety analysis, recovery, tracking. Awesome. So it's a true partnership that we don't exist without White Sands. Mm -hmm. We've got about 18,000 acres on state land, wow. over 25 square miles of playground that we have for customers to come in and develop and do research here in New Mexico. Obviously, the great weather mm -hmm. uh, that, sure. that we experience means that we have an opportunity for launch windows on a daily basis. So you're not going to have those types of issues. And of course, the non-corrosive atmosphere up here. Oh, yes. Uh, with the, uh, with the <laughs> thin air. So there's a lot of advantages to New Mexico and why this location. Back in the mid-90s, uh, both McDonnell Douglas with the DCX, who came out here, as well as Lockheed Martin and the Venture Star, mm -hmm. selected Spaceport America. And that was a selection process, and they selected Spaceport America as the location above all others where single-stage-to-orbit vehicles would, would launch from. Awesome. Of course, we all know what happened there, unfortunately. Uh, but now that was the precursor. Those were what I say were the, that's where commercial space really began, that mm -hmm. airplane like airplane like operations. Mm -hmm. And so this is now following forward and we've got all these private sector. For the first time we have this coupling of government and private money. Mm -hmm. And you know, when I look what NASA is really doing right now is a great thing. Uh, For sure. Now some may not think so, but the way I look at it is they've created a market. This low earth orbit, space station with the COTS programs. Mm -hmm. Elon Musk, what a great thing. SpaceX, congratulations to those guys. Yes. Oh, yeah. Getting to orbit. Yeah. You know, not many nations have ever done that. Now we've, right. we've got a private sector company who's been able to do it. So hand, hats off to the SpaceX team and Elon Musk. Um, so Spaceport America, we're about trying to enable it. So New Mexico is making this investment, you know, mm -hmm. $200 million plus to bring this infrastructure in so that the commercial space industry can come here. Just like Otero awesome. County mm -hmm. and Holloman Air Force Base, White Sands Missile Range, mm -hmm. go on their, their doormat says birthplace of space. <laughs> this is where Kittinger, the only guy to go supersonic without an airplane, mm -hmm. jumping out of a balloon Love from 100,000 plus feet. You know, Colonel Stapp riding the sled track, I mm -hmm. think he took 47 G's uh, and, he, and he would place yeah. an ambulance in his Cadillac at the end of that track <laughs> and he'd say, I'm going home in one of them. So, <laughs> so I, love it. I mean, these folks, we're on that leading edge. Those sure. were the entrepreneurs, even within a governmental type structure, right. that led the way for what we enjoy today. Now space is, you know, kind of stagnant, but now we're seeing whether it's Bigelow Aerospace, mm -hmm. you know, Blue Origin, um, you know, Virgin Galactic, mm -hmm. certainly mm -hmm. investing significant amount of money with Burt Rutan and mm -hmm. that wonderful vehicle that's going to be coming right here to be headquartered right at Spaceport America as Yay. well. So it's a wonderful. You know, New Mexico is looking forward to this new industry. We welcome all the industry. It is heavily about education. We believe that if America is to lead the way and stay strong, it's very important that math and science be up. Mm -hmm. If you, we can provide that differentiated learning for the kids, mm -hmm. the why behind the math and science, we're creating a Super Loki program with in partnership with Holloman Air Force Base and White Sands Missile Range, oh, nice. where they're gonna go into the classrooms, teach the curriculum to the kids around math and science of all ages, and then we're gonna go out and launch that rocket. And what happens, that transformational learning, that applied learning, will, one, embed that mm -hmm. and give them the why behind the math and science. Mm -hmm. You know, how often do people go in and do your calculus or whatever you're going to do? Right. I know when I was sitting there doing, doing that, you follow the process and do you fully have, fully have an appreciation right. for the value of that? So these commercials, you know, U.S. 21st in math, 25th in science or vice versa, you know, that's not an acceptable metric. Uh, mm -hmm. for America and, no and I think everybody in the world needs to strive math and science innovate learn more about the planet you know Virgin Galactic ultimately is a very environmentally friendly company mm -hmm. you know they're they're very environmentally conscious and we're trying to do that with Spaceport America my hope is it will be a hundred percent renewably powered awesome. uh, out there as well so these things are coupled but we've got Wild West meets space so mm -hmm. we want to bring this industry <laughs> here we want to bring tourism here mm -hmm. because we want to build the awareness about space. Mm -hmm. See, if you roll the clock back, you know, when the U.S. and Russia were competing, right, 
look at XPRIZE, what, what a great thing. Mm -hmm. it, that was the mm -hmm. prize, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Who's going to get there first? Right. So when you roll the clock forward now, we've got this new buzz and the announcement yesterday, right? Mm -hmm. And obviously New Mexico is thrilled, the governor is thrilled and got to see the successful $350,000 prize awarded. <laughs> it, it doesn't get much better than that. That mm -hmm. was a perfect sequence going <laughs> from the press event, that way. Yeah. turn around, governor's <laughs> up on a podium and, and there's the, the it was the beautiful. Launch and, and a perfect execution. So hats off to the Armadillo team <laughs> and, and John Carmack. And I saw him over there with his check smiling pretty good. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, better so he's, a, he's a happy better guy. It's a lot of years. And, and those are dedicated individuals. Yes. You know, look at the volunteers that are out there pursuing the space dream. Mm -hmm. So now we have Virgin Galactic. We have Rocket Racing League and Arm Armadillo uh, Aerospace coming here to develop the vehicles right here on Las Cruces Airport, flying awesome. out of Spaceport America, doing the development flights. So guess what? We've got this game on for these this new industry that's going to race to suborbital space. Mm -hmm. And that is going to has the potential to create this awareness in the public that one alone would not have that type of draw. But now we've got right. two parties, two totally different experiences. Yes. I think it's just going to be fantastic. <laughs> and the technologies that are unveiling here, and that's what <laughs> XPRIZE is all about. Mm -hmm. It's challenging folks to lead that edge. Right. It's not just about government dollars. A lot of these volunteers. Mm -hmm. How about those True Zero guys? Are they awesome? Oh man, ten thousand dollars for a vehicle. Well, that's and insane. ten months ago, and didn't months, know what a yeah. rocket was. I, I mean, yes. yeah, but they, awesome. they they caught the fuse, the spark that ignited them. Mm -hmm. They got it together. They passed through all the wickets that not many teams have been able to do. Yeah. So you know what? That's that's the demonstration and the power of the passion. If we can get that out there. So I think here at Spaceport America, that's what we want to do. We want to bring in universities from around the globe have them do their experiments here. This is about testing, awesome. research, and development. And then, yes, taking passengers to space, working with the military as well. Mm -hmm. Everybody likes low-cost access to space. Oh, yeah. If we can deliver satellites on a lower level, mm -hmm. satellite market. I've seen some people think it's stagnant. Well, Richard Branson said there's a half a billion servers on the planet. But what would happen if we could put those up? Pollution. It's the number mm -hmm. one polluter. What if we could put them up in orbit with solar panels? Huh. So this is what we're looking to. What is that future? Medical crystals. Microgravity is, is committed to us, and they've got their Space 2.0, the commercial products, but their real mission, they want to do three-day orbiter missions to grow medical crystals. Mm. And then they want to go to the moon. So these guys that work, the, one guy works at Kirtland Air Force Base, another mm -hmm. at Schaefer, um, but their side dream and passion mm -hmm. is to be much better for the, the good of the world. For sure. And so whether it's power, whether it's national security, whether it's transportation, is this the next Wright Brothers that we're going to see? with Virgin Galactic and Armadillo producing different types of vehicles and experiences that can be enjoyed all over the world, but certainly this, this precursor and the others, x -Core, you know, there's, mm -hmm. there's all these companies that are coming together, and so now it's real. Right. And if we can get this public awareness, get that public opinion behind it, that's when you're going to see budgets increase. But until that point, it's tough because there's a lot of competing demands for money. Nobody likes the economic times we're in, but this has such a promise for our future to what space can provide for all of us. So when are we going to start to see some stuff actually being built? Actually, you're going to see things going pretty quick. Right now, we've got the road. is already <laughs> under construction of the spaceport. Uh, the FAA is working through. We're working through our record of decision on our environmental. We'll have that by December. Awesome. Launch license, December. 20-year uh, lease with Virgin, December. Wow. So wow. This, this next wow. little bit's going to have a lot of activities going on. Uh, and now, certainly, with the partnership between Rocket Racing, Armadillo, the unnamed entity right. that's going to be, come mm -hmm. out soon, mm -hmm. uh, and the state of New Mexico and investing in the infrastructure here at Las Cruces Airport to bring that manufacturing and this investment so that they can progress their technology quickly. And they're looking to launch in 2010, but what Armadillo and Rocket Racing bring is Spaceport America is going to be open in a big way. We've been doing some amateur class with Up Aerospace and Lockheed Martin, uh, and now what we're going to enjoy is all of this development launches that are going to be going off starting early in 2009 Yay. at Spaceport America. Oh, so crazy. we are not far away uh, from a lot of activity, mm -hmm. uh, more than probably most places because of the pace at uh, which Armadillo is going to have to test those vehicles to yep. work out the bugs and get ready for passengers to go sure. to space. This, this is really exciting stuff because it's not just the uh, the private stuff that no one's ever going to be able to touch. You're also, you've essentially got a spaceport where people yeah, like, actually. 
uh, Karen and I and yourself can go up into space, Virgin Galactic or the, you know, X Core or, or Armadillo, whomever, whomever is making these uh, space vehicles, well, horizontal or vertical, yeah. is my understanding. And you're starting to get this segmented experience levels, mm -hmm. and you can start with, well, you can start with NASTAR and just a centrifuge ride. Right. All right. If you want some G forces, or you can go into zero G. Right. You know, very affordable type experience to, to experience that, and certainly X Core mm -hmm. with their Lynx vehicle. Uh, and then you have Armadillo, mm -hmm. and then you have Virgin Galactic. So all different experiences of levels. So I expect these astronauts are probably going to want to try a little bit of each. <laughs> uh, so I don't see so why not. It, it's an exciting time. But when you understand that NASA has already put papers on the streets to their scientists with the Virgin Galactic vehicle, you know, right now a lot of unmanned experiments going up in sounding rockets. Well, the, for, for the, that price of a sounding rocket now, the scientists can go with the experiment on the Virgin Galactic vehicle. Mm -hmm. and interact That's awesome. with that. Mm -hmm. So how much faster are we going to be able to push technology at a much lower cost level? So Pete Warden, when he was out here for the DCX reunion that the mm -hmm. Space Museum hosted in mid-August, you know, Pete put a slide up. So what's new? Well, humans was his first uh, bullet instead of an unmanned sounding rocket. And second, why wouldn't we just do this on the space station? And he said, well, you would if you have $30 million and you can wait your turn. Right. right. So now we're going to be able to go on a daily basis or multiple times a day to take experiments up. Uh, the Air Force, Kirtland Air Force Base, has operationally responsive space. Get a satellite, call up, get a satellite into space within 24 hours. Wow. That's their wow. mission. So what... I can't even buy shoes that fast. So now, when I see that, I, and I talked to Gary Payton, and I said, Gary, you know, look at the Virgin vehicle, the architecture. Mm -hmm. Bert Rutan, when it rolled out on July 28, what did he say? This will be able to carry a light satellite to space. Mm -hmm. So boom, instantly, my, my mind rocked back to Kirtland Air Force Base's mission. Operationally response space, 24 hours. I have a stage one launch system. Now, Amazing. somebody just get the rocket in the middle. Kirtland wants to manufacture the satellites themselves. Mm -hmm. So now we've solved a problem that the Air Force is struggling with. And guess who funded it? Virgin Galactic. No government money, and you have a mm -hmm. stage one, 140 foot wingspan, carbon composite aircraft that can carry something to very high altitude anywhere in the world and, and launch. That's so, so awesome. So New Mexico feels very fortunate to have Virgin Galactic and now uh, rocket uh, racing in Armadillo. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, we've, we've got two preeminent, one first horizontal, next vertical, mm -hmm. and these folks are gonna help push that technology and the use. Uh, you know, Virgin's already out talking with atmospheric sciences and everything else. Yeah. So the use of these vehicles that are being funded by the private sector is gonna help us all get to space faster, lower cost, and we're gonna learn so much more. Yeah. And then it'll push the envelope to that next, to the moon and Mars, and I think the private sector will ultimately mm -hmm. be doing that. Certainly the Google oh, yeah. X Prize. I mean, yep. those are the types of things. So X Prize is hugely significant mm -hmm. and of a great value to stir on this competitiveness. Like US versus Russia, what did it do? It advanced both countries' state of technology right. faster than mm -hmm. otherwise they would have been able yep. to do. Public opinion said, we're behind you. We're willing to invest this money because the public was behind you. So I think these types of things, and now well, what we're going to see at Spaceport America in New Mexico, is that that competing nature mm -hmm. of both leaders and horizontal and vertical is going to help create an industry awareness that's going to be pretty positive. It's going to spark imagination in the kids. And that's where it's all going to begin. The next leaders of the world mm -hmm. are going to come out from what I believe will be driven by some of this technology and excitement around what we're all doing. So now I know we're running out of time. I just wanted to really quick, any any uh, questions on the webcast? I haven't been paying attention. Okay, well then uh, we'll, leave, we'll leave it <laughs> well, at that. Very good. I'm sorry, I was fascinated. <laughs> yeah, it was a great it's, conversation. It's you exciting know, times. It, it really is, and you know, I've said it about 30 times already in the last hour, but uh, you know, 2010 is a tipping point in space, uh, space exploration. We're gonna see a fantastic amount of stuff coming out over 2009 as it approaches, and 2010 is when it all changes, and you guys are gonna be right there at the forefront of uh, changing, uh, changing space travel forever. That's right, now, and, and New Mexico is now as a development platform, mm -hmm. so rocket racing, so we're very pleased that this is the industry, this was the objective behind New Mexico, bring economic development in, this new industry, we wanna keep it, Von Braun escaped 50 years ago, or <laughs> so right, went to Huntsville. Well, this new industry, that birthplace of space, New Mexico has this history, the heritage, the right combination of elements to attract these. So I welcome anybody to Spaceport America, New Mexico. Um, even in 2009, we're going to be doing a lot of developmental launches. So if people want to come out and watch some launches, understand what we're trying to do, and, and whether it's universities or just individuals that want to shoot off some rockets, 
you know, hey, please give us a call. We'd love to have you. We want to help people advance the state of technology. Very cool. Love to set up a Space Vidcast studio down there. There so we go. <laughs> hey, Happy to have it. Thank you so much for your time. Thank you. No, really Thank appreciate you. it. Thank you. Thanks.